around 6.30 this morning, and it is looping, so you can still watch it. There's lots of Hollywood energy, but their album is called Hackney Diamonds. It's named after a huh. town in London, and Mick, explain what that means. You know Smash and Grabs? Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> yes, we know it very well. We know yeah. it very well here. So when the glass shatters on the ground like diamonds, he said oh. that's what Hackney Diamonds is. So interesting, right? So if you go to kcalnews.com, click the link, It'll be at Scene on TV, and you can watch this music video. You can also see Jimmy Fallon and the interview. It's just looping all morning, and people all over the world are watching Isn't it. that how you write down the sentence? <laughs> so I think I've seen you. Always. <laughs> <laughs> it takes me back to the 80s. Like, all of those, it does, yeah. all of those music videos with the girls, like Tawny yes. Katane. Yes. Love it. It's, it's cute. It yeah. is cute. It's I like the though. sound, too. Me, yep. too. Classic. Thank you, Suzanne. Thanks. And we want to remind you to be sure to watch Suzanne's Entertainment News Show, The Lot, Saturday and Sunday at 11 a.m. on CBS News Los Angeles and streaming on Paramount Plus, Pluto TV, and the CBS News app. Fans of the D'Amelio family can get a close look at their new shoe line and meet the famous TikTokers at the Grove today. Yeah, it's the family's very first brick and mortar location for their shoe brand. And Mark, Heidi, Dixie, and Charlie will be there starting at 4 p.m. The pop-up store will be at the Grove through September 26th. KCAL News at 9 starts right now. Banning masks and COVID vaccine mandates in one Southern California city. Are there any exceptions? We're live with the latest on the controversial declaration. The dispute between Disney and Charter continues. Is there an end in sight? And what are customers being offered by the cable company? It is another cloudy start. It will be our sixth straight cool finish, but a significant weather change like a 20 degree temperature bump coming up in the extended forecast. What's the rule on wearing white after Labor Day? Some say yes, some say no. Does the rule apply here in Southern California? We'll discuss. <laughs> Got a great story. That I'm not going to tell This is KCAL News <laughs> Mornings. Good morning. You're watching KCAL News Mornings at 9. There's a live look outside at LAX. A little gloomy out there. We'll pick things up, though. It is Wednesday, September 6th. I'm Jamie Yukis. I'm Rudy Beshbazi. Thanks for joining us. Paul and Kalina are both here to bring you your next weather and traffic. Good morning to both of you. The traffic has been a oh. nightmare out there this morning. I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you know, I, I hate that I feel like I'm the negative one, right? I'm always like, oh, man, it's really tough out there. But, but it's luckily, important information. Luckily, in yeah. the next hour, it'll ease up. So just okay. give yourself an hour. Yeah, and today is, like, particularly bad. Yes. So people need to yeah. know about that. And Paul? I don't have the best news so, either. Okay, great. <laughs> no? okay. Yeah. 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 You know, it's cooler temperatures, but yesterday I, tr I tried to go out for a run, and it was, like, mm -hmm. so hard to figure out what to wear because that humidity right. was up again. Right. It was muggy. Right. It, it was and there's muggy. a payoff to be had in the afternoon. I mean, if, if it's going to be sunny, and beautiful in the morning, we're going to pay the price in the afternoon. It's probably going to be hot. That's true. The trend, the opposite of that would be if you don't mind the clouds in the morning, mm -hmm. afternoon's probably going to be pretty comfortable. So, one of the, which one do we want? Well, the thing is, Mother Nature doesn't give us a multiple choice. She just does what she wants to do, and we have to react. So, today, we have the cloud cover almost everywhere. The Antelope Valley is the exception, but the payoff will be when the clouds burn off. Temperatures will be 5 to 10 degrees cooler than average and really pleasant outside. But as Jamie mentioned, it's still humid. It's been humid for five weeks. L.A. County socked in with the clouds all the way into the San Fernando and San Gabriel Valley. Ventura County today, this is a change. You've got the cloud cover. And the Inland Empire, even though it's burning off, you have the cloud cover currently. So we are mostly cloudy in Ontario where it's 68 degrees. It's 65 in Simi Valley, 70 right now in Fullerton, 70 in Palmdale and Victorville, 70 in San Bernardino, and also 70 in Laguna Beach. Pretty popular temperature. Next 12 hours in Los Angeles. By lunchtime, we've got the sunshine, but the lack of sunshine for the first five hours of the day when we could have had sunshine will keep temperatures down. The onshore breeze helps as well. At 3 o'clock, we're only 75 degrees. Other high temperatures today, our valley is only 82. You'll be 106 by this weekend, 82 degrees today. Inland Empire, 86 degrees. The mountains, beautiful, 73. A little bit brisk at the beach with a high in the upper 60s to low 70s. Big changes coming up for the weekend. If you like temperatures like this, you're going to have to get on a plane by Saturday and Sunday to enjoy it because it's leaving here quickly. We'll talk about that abrupt change coming up in a few minutes. Right now, let's take a look at those roads with Kalina. Good morning. Hey, good morning. So lots of red out there this morning. We have a big problem on the 605 that's been here for a while. We also have heavy delays on the 405 in both directions. Starting off with the 605, this is an overturned car northbound just past Rose Hills. The carpool and left lanes are blocked, and that is a backup from about the 105. Speeds down to 2 miles per hour in certain spots.
This one's a new one. Motorcycle crash westbound 91 right at Paramount. The carpool lane is blocked off. So this is just before the 710. That backup right now building as you leave the Buena Park area and continue heading westbound. And travel times for you northbound 110 through South LA. That's about a 39 minute ride between the 105 and the 10. And you are slammed this morning on the 5 northbound out of Downey. 40 minute commute heading into the 60. Ruta Bay, back to you. Kalina, thank you. A controversial move by the Huntington Beach City Council during a session that stretched into the early morning hours. The panel adopted a policy change many consider to be transphobic. KCAL News reporter Tina Patel is live in Huntington Beach to explain. Good morning. Well, this meeting didn't wrap up until 3 in the morning, and that is because so many people turned out to have their voices heard. You're right. What they were talking about is a revision to the city's policy on human dignity. That's what they call it. It was a statement that was originally adopted back in the 90s that basically said the city would not tolerate any hate crimes. And there's language in there that says everyone in the city should be treated.